Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here. Hopefully you guys are good. Today I have for you guys episode 2 of our Tracksuit to the Top series. If you missed the first episode, down in the description of this video there'll be a link to a playlist featuring all the episodes in this series. I recommend you check it out. If you don't know the premise of this series, essentially we take a managerial career uh, from the very bottom to the top. Now last episode we got the job at Lewis FC. Uh, it was our first venture into management. Of course, we are a Sunday League reputation manager with no coaching qualifications whatsoever, but we somehow landed ourselves a job. And last episode, we played Billericay Town and we won 2-0. Since then, we've had a very, very good start to the season. Only three games to tell you guys about, but with us playing Margate today, who are the favourites to win the league, I couldn't help but do a live com. So, looking at these results, uh, the first one we got was a 4-0 win against Met Police. A really, really good result. Uh, especially given the fact that Met Police were one of the teams predicted to finish above us in the league this year. Looking at it overall, a really good, solid performance. Stephen Page, of course, the left-back who we signed, getting the Man of the Match award. That was very nice, you know, an instant return, I guess, on our investment in terms of bringing him into the squad. Um, not much of an investment when you consider we didn't actually pay any money for him, but nevertheless, that was good. Uh, the next uh, result was against... Who was it against? It was against Kingstonian, and uh, we won 2 1. It was a good win. Uh, looking at it here, you can see Neven getting himself on the score sheet as well as Ellis Remy. Uh, overall, good to see the strikers who, of course, we signed coming in and doing well. Another thing worth noticing is if you look at our condition of our players, we were able to rotate our team pretty heavily for this fixture, especially given the kind of compact nature of their, our scheduling and just the sheer quantity of games we've had in a very short space of time. Uh, and then you compare it to Kingstonian, where they were really struggling player wise. A lot of players very, very unfit. And um, that kind of helped us, especially late on into the game where Ellis came off the bench to grab a goal. And then in the last result of this run of fixtures, we did unfortunately lose our unbeaten run to the season, losing 2-1 against Maidstone. Looking at it here, you can see that they played pretty well. They actually got a late 86th minute goal. Neven getting on the score sheet again. Unfortunately for us, he did get injured. Um, I think he twisted his ankle, so he's out for us. But he has been the standout performer so far for us, of course. Uh, we signed him at the start of the season, the 18-year-old. As you can see, he's actually improved a lot. His dribbling, uh, finishing and first touch all improving by one, which is pretty impressive. But all in all, this guy's been the big kind of standout performer, I guess you could say. Uh, looking at his information, uh, you can see here uh, that um, he's happy at the club. Uh, he's got in an injury at the moment, which is a little bit of a shame because he's been such a good standout performer for us. And it does mean that he is going to be missing for the next few weeks at least, which is pretty disappointing. Of course, we don't have a physiotherapist, so something like a twisted ankle uh, results in a player like Neven being out for five to six weeks, which is pretty painful to take, especially when you look at the fact that in his four appearances, he grabbed us three goals and three assists. However, we have had players come into the squad who, of course, we signed already and have instant impacts, players like Ellis Remy, who, as I mentioned, got that goal off the bench. The Montserrat International has already, I guess, got a goal to his name this year, which is good to see. And also Jack Randall, another player who we signed. This guy has signed, uh, sorry, has scored two goals since he signed for us. So that's that. There hasn't been too much going on on and off the pitch. Uh, last episode, I didn't really cover our staff too much, so I'm actually going to cover that today. Uh, looking at our overall staff, um, I pretty much had to stick with what we had because I couldn't afford the compensation to get rid of too many of the coaches. So there's no real standout people. Uh, the person who I would like to draw your attention to is Lee Mabry, uh, who is actually a scout who I managed to approach myself. And as you can see here, uh, 16 determination partnered with 13 judging player potential and ability is a really good for this level. And he is on a very low wage to only £190 a week. So he was our kind of real good signing, I guess, that we managed to get in terms of uh, staff-wise. Uh, the way that leads us looking training-wise, if I show you the coaches here, uh, we have five staff members, including myself. Uh, myself and Motley split the fitness workload. Uh, I also focus and help out with the tactical training, along with Matt Crabb, uh, who also is involved in the attacking and shooting area. And then uh, looking elsewhere, you can see Dean Lightwood helping defending and goalkeeping, whereas our assistant, Danny Bloor, uh, helps out with ball control. So overall, for this level, we don't have 
the obviously the best coaching setup for any level but for our level it's not too bad at all particularly the fact we can have two designated fitness coaches in myself and motley helps immensely with the kind of players getting fit in terms of the tactics uh, not too much has changed since last episode in fact nothing's changed i've not even started introducing player instructions yet however you can see here we've started to get more comfortable with the tactic and i've also started work on two different variants of our system one is a more attacking 442 whereas one is a lot more conservative dropping a few players in deep Deeper and really looking to hit teams on the break. So that is the systems that we have. Uh, for today's game against Margate, I think we're going to stick with the 4 4 2 kind of regular initially, especially since we are at home. Uh, but it's worth noting, of course, that Margate are predicted to win the league. And so this is not going to be an easy game by any means. So before we get into the game, just one quick look at the league table. You can see here Greys are the only team to go unbeaten. They have won their first four games in a row. Canvey Island, Berrytown, ourselves and Margate occupy the playoff spots. This is a tricky division with only two teams going out of it. One gets automatic promotion, four fight it out for a playoff spot. So it's not going to be easy, uh, but our overall, our start to the season has been pretty darn impressive. However, we are playing Margate today in fifth, who are yet to lose a game. So anyway, on that note, let's get into this game. You can see here Roger East is going to be the um, referee for this. All in all, our squad's looking fairly good, uh, as well as the Neven injury. Uh, we also have uh, Trelevan, or Trelevan uh, also out injured, which is another shame, but um, we have got players capable of replacing him. So uh, Brinkhurst is actually going to come in and play out on the right for us. The young 23-year-old who's on a non-player contract certainly has the attributes to play out wide for us. So he'll do a job for us today, hopefully. And with that said, let's get into today's game against Margate. We have had a week since our previous game, which has helped get our players' fitness levels back up because uh, prior to this, we had played three games in the space of a week which was absolutely mad and by the end of it as you could probably see with like the Kingstonian fitness for example the players were really really struggling but anyway let's tell the players that we expect to win um, getting them fired up and hopefully we can go out and get a win here against Margate it'd be a good way to kind of cap off what has so far been a good start to the season if we were to lose this perhaps it would become an okay start to the season but to get three wins in our first four and only one defeat while still learning our system is very very impressive and we've got a chance here Walder what a hit son Jack Walder the deep line playmaker picks up the ball and smashes it from the corner and gives us the ideal start just three minutes into the game that is fantastic news hopefully we can now work some momentum off that Jamie Taylor injured, however, uh, for them. Can we deal with this? A set piece near post. We've done well there. Second ball. Can we deal with it? We can. Cole, no nonsense defending there. Good to see us defending the corners well so far. Although I say that and our keeper comes to the rescue banks with another fine save. And they've got another corner. Blimey. Corners galore. And this time, he saves it again. Wow. Some incredible goalkeeping for us there means that we are still in this game and with a pass like that oh, I thought we were going to go through unfortunately not looking at the stats there you can see Margate are currently dominating the game uh, I'm going to maybe look to play a little bit more conservatively although we have got a chance here Cole inside Brinkhurst Crab Crab Randall oh he can't get there right so you can see looking at the stats Margate are having a little bit more of the ball uh, as a result, I'm going to go to our more conservative setup. Maybe just look to hit them on the break. We're not having too much of the ball. We're going to sit a little bit deeper and look to pounce on the break. Using our fast players, using our two big men up front to hopefully work off each other. And looking at it, we are holding on quite well. Although there is now a late chance just before half time. You can see we're sitting a little bit deeper, giving their midfielders a little bit more room. And we've given them too much room there. And they have hit the post. Well, it's not a bad start to the first half and not a bad way, I guess, to start the game. We've done okay. I'm just going to tell the players things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. Um, it's okay. We're, we're, that, that's the kind of start we needed, and now we just have to maintain this level of performance. Granted, Margate are having a little bit more of the ball, and us sitting deep is only inviting pressure on ourselves, but I'm hoping that we can really kind of bait them into overextending and then perhaps hit them on the break, grab another and um, then really start to shut up shop but we'll, we'll kind of have to see how things go here we're holding our shape quite well from the highlights I've seen I'm not too concerned about them exploiting space with our 
in our system with their system because to be honest their tactic is fairly similar to ours maybe we can make something work here Crab, Muggeridge, there's options in the middle Branford's there Ethic, Crab, come on boys Page the left back to Cole few options inside, this is nice football Randall, there's a free ball there if he plays it Brinkhurst, Crab, hit that oh what a goal that could have been unfortunately though it doesn't go away now. Margate with the set piece. Corner comes in. Banks with another save. What take a Bowser. Now keeper's been in fine form so far this game. He's kept us in this. Now can we look to hit them on the break? Crab, bury that. He scores. That is a way to hit them on the break. So they were slow getting back from the corner. It was a tired retreat from Margate. And we've really exploited that space that was left behind. Looking at our team too, we are we are not not tired. We we are going to make some changes here, I think, just to get some fresher legs on. Because I tell you what, some of our players are a little bit tired at this point. Although, actually, I've made a mistake here in not playing a centre back, uh, centre mid on the bench. But we have got a few ways to get around that because Randall can drop in, and uh, we'll we'll bring for in fact no, let's bring Remy on. Let's bring Remy on, who's the big monster at. Uh, plays. Uh, he's massive, so if we have him hold up the play, he could be very useful for us in linking our play up. Um, I'm going to switch to a more defensive outlook too, I think, just to kind of see out the end of this game. But switching to a target man, playing more defensive, I think we already have play more direct on, we do. So hopefully now we can just kind of shut up shop and get this win, which would be a huge win, because as I mentioned, Margate, favourites to win the league this year. They were unbeaten going into this game. Of course, we are, are, are only four games in, but nevertheless, it's always important to beat teams around you. And with finishing like that, I'm slowly gaining in confidence that we can just see out this game. Interesting to note the amount of injuries happening to teams on uh, or other teams other than us, and I think that's largely down to our fit designated fitness coaching. And there, Jack Randall... Makes it 3-0. That is game set and match in a game that we've not played particularly well in. But Banks in goal has been absolutely incredible. And we've just put in a fantastic performance there. Not a lot more that can be said. We've, we've turned up against a very big team and we've done well in the dripping pan, I guess you could say. I'm going to tell the boys I'm very pleased with that. That's a huge win. More performances like that and we should be able to walk this league, no worries. We've added some real strength to the side and it's good to see the players who have signed players like Jack Randall actually getting on the score sheet. And hopefully, as I mentioned, we can just maintain this now and go on and win the league because we are now top of the league, although Greys still have their game in hand to be played. But nevertheless, um, a fantastic result and you couldn't deny that it was a it was a performance of character to sit back there, get that early goal and then really kind of play to our game plan I guess in terms of baiting them up then making the most of opportunities that came our way on the break especially that second goal, it was very textbook Jack Walder with the wonder strike to give us the early lead but anyway guys, that is going to wrap things up for today uh, I'm not sure when the next episode is going to be it might be that game against Greys which is coming up that could be a pretty big one uh, in our fixture schedule. We'll see how they're doing in, in the league and how we're doing in the league before I say categorically categorically, the next episode will be with them. But hopefully you guys will stick around for the next one regardless. Uh, if, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button. It really does help out the videos. If you've got any questions about this series or anything FM related for that matter, leave it down in the comments. And other than that, guys, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.